Hi everyone, welcome to part three of five things you need to know when you're using the new OneNote. Okay, I'm gonna start this one off with something that is missing and hopefully um, you won't have to do this in the future, but for now you need to. And it's a quite a simple one, but what you might notice is that in this new OneNote, if you are in class notebook like I am now, there is actually no class notebook tab. So you think you're in one, but the, the features that come with the class notebook don't exist. So I'll pop the link in the chat um, or in the description, sorry, if you need it, but essentially you just need to go to this website and to download the add-in. So quite simple here. Um, you just need to click on download class notebook add-in. Nice, quite simple download there. I'm going to open that one up and we're going to wait for this. Now I've kind of already got it in there so I could uninstall and put it back in again. Let's just, I'm just going to click repair. You'll see that it will go through this similar type of phase where I can click yes. And it's a really simple install. To be honest with you, it doesn't really take um, that long to happen. So once that's in, all we have to do is we essentially have to close down the notebook and reopen it. And then when we do that, it will be there. Okay, so there we go. It will just relaunch. And what you'll notice is that class notebook is just now sitting, sitting along the top and everything that you're used to is available. So our next one still relates to the class notebook. What you'll notice is a little bit different with this one is that when you go to distribute and you click distribute page, all it's going to just ask you is the pathway. It won't load up the wizard like we're used to in the Windows 10. Um, it'll just kind of give you that straight away. Your other options are still sitting here below also. But what you'll also notice is that you can just right click on the page you wanna distribute. If you're already there, you can click over to distribute page here. I'm then gonna click on Maths Term 2, send that out, it'll have a little bit of a thing. And I can see already here, it's gone straight into, there it is, Andrew's Term 2 section as well. If you're doing cross note um, distribution, that will kind of automatically appear. So let's say I'm in a one note like this and I right click to distribute. It'll notice that it, it's, a, it's a one note that doesn't have any students in it. And so it will just automatically then ask you for that cross notebook distribution. So I would select my year six class. Um, if we were doing this for Haas, term two, and then I would send that over. The next one we're gonna have a look at is the ability to add in a video recording to a OneNote page. It's quite simple, it's in insert and you click here on audio. It's not gonna work for me because I'm using my camera to film this video, but it's pretty simple. It will just open up and start recording straight away. It's just a webcam capture. You can't record your screen or anything like that. So it's kind of quite personal in providing feedback or just like a, like a video diary, I guess, is, is an interesting way as well that you could use it academically. But, um, one thing I am going to say to be mindful of is that they are video files. There are limitations on it, but the more you put them into a OneNote, especially a class notebook, the longer it'll take to load. And um, because those videos will be taking up so much file space. I do want to highlight a feature though that is pretty cool in files and options is if you go to video and audio settings, you have this ability to turn on audio search. And so what that means is that in the search function of the notebook, it will also include what is said in any audio and video files as well, or as part of its search function. Word of warning though, you do need to give it time. So whenever you add a new video or you add a new audio, it takes OneNote um, a couple of hours to sync that. So leave your OneNote open. Don't just do an audio recording and close it down because it won't sync that process. Um, but pretty cool feature, especially if someone's looking for feedback and they can't remember where you'd put it, it'll at least find it in those files as well. Okay, so the next one is another cool little add-in shortcut that I like 
is when we go here to files and then we go to options, um, we have this ability to access the, the quick access toolbar. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by the quick access toolbar, it's this one here up in the very top left hand corner, way up there where the little OneNote symbol is. It's normally kind of got the name of the page that you're on. And at the moment it has the back button and it has the undo button. And so you can see that here, here's the back button, here's the undo button, and they are the same as these two up here. You can add to that basically, you can add other things. And there are some others that I do like. There are heaps. If I click out of popular and go to all commands, you'll see every possible one that you might want to add. And so I kind of, you know, the alphabetical, so I kind of I like undo, but I also like redo as well. So if I um, come down here to, there it is, redo. It's quite simple. I'm just gonna add it in like that, add it over and to the side. Maybe um, might want pens as well. I like to use my pens quite a lot. So I want quick access to those pens. So I'm gonna click on them, add them in as well. Um, sync is a big one for me. Um, I kind of hate, like, I hate strong word, but you know, <laughs> I just like having to go to the notebook, right click and then sync. There's a shortcut on your keyboard as well, but if you're using like a touch device, I quite often don't use the keyboard. I just use the touch device. Um, you do have the refresh options as well um, that you might want to add. There's several different ones. So it's kind of about going through and finding the one that works best for you. Um, I like this one here, the sync, but you can choose, you know, to sync a notebook or sync all notebooks. Um, so for me, it's normally the notebook I'm in. So I'm going to add that one in as well. So when I click OK, essentially they get added to the top here. And so I've got quick access to my pens, so I can just grab them. So I don't need to be in that specific tab. Um, and that little button there is just constant. It's just refreshing for me. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Okay, so my last one, which is a must know, it's, it's not new. It's actually the only reason I ever used to use the 2016 version is um, in files, um, you have this ability to export your OneNote. It's a pretty cool function. So you can choose between the page, the section, or the entire notebook. As you start to grab more, you get less options. So for instance, if you wanna export a page and move it into a Word document, you can just do that um, as well. Sections can be done like that as well, but you can export an entire notebook. So I've done this before. Um, we, this is how we make our OneNote accessible on our website is that we come in here and we export this dot, um, one PKG file and that will export. It doesn't work with Mac, but it works with windows perfectly fine. Um, and essentially, so I build like a OneNote full of resources or ideas, or I'm moving on as a teacher, or I want to share that with another teacher in another school, whatever it be, there's heaps of different examples. I can come in here, I can click on that and I can click on export. And it's just gonna ask me for where do you want, where do you wanna save it? And so here, I'm just gonna click save and then it's done. Um, essentially the person will just click on that notebook, it's packaging it up for me, but they'll just essentially double click on that notebook and it will ask them where they wanna load it and then they're done. So that's it, they're my tips for my last three videos. We'll probably end up kind of creating some stuff that goes more in depth into um, particular ones, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying it. You want to know, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.